All right, thank you for joining me today. My name is Richard, AKA Thick Smith, AKA Thick Gumpla. And today we're gonna be building this. Let me get a better view for this for you. It is the high grade Universal Century Hazel 2. Titan's part of Titan Mobile Suit, but I've done something to it. I have painted it using a brand of paints that I just found at a local hobby at my local hobby store that I've seen online before, and really, uh, I really think I'll like it. I use the Turbo Dork paints. I've seen quite a few things about it. They're supposed to be high quality acrylic paints. Uh, while I'm building this thing, I'll go over my experience with you of the, the time I had with it. I also have some test spoons here that I painted with this that I'll go over with you too. Uh, now, first things first, I've mainly worked with lacquers the entire time I've painted. All of my custom Gundams have been 80%, or I don't wanna say a solid, 80 to 90% lacquer. Um, Normally I'm using the splash paints line. You know, really solid, pre-mixed, lazy, lazy, lazy. Get it done, get it done quick, but also have a really good, really, really, really good application. Really smooth, very uh, reliable when you use lacquer paints, especially ones that are raised straight out of the bottle like these G paints here too, another great brand. All right, let's see here. Let's set this up over here. Let's go over a few things as far as this paint goes. First and foremost, let's go over the tests that I did with it. Uh, I had a few techniques that I wanted to try that I have not tried before. One of them was different ways to finish the paint you know I tried my normal way and it's it hasn't really come out as well as I would like it to and that's been by using these little rattle cans right here uh, for my top coats and I, I feel that it comes out not cloudy or maybe I'm just not the best at quite doing it yet but these are the test spoons here are some of my favorites that I got for the turbo dork colors these are acrylic based paints um, and some of them came out really good, some of them not so much, depending on what I did to them. Some of them I added too much thinner, some I ended not enough, or uh, go. some I spray painted on that top coat too heavy. It still came out pretty good, but it feels, it feels orange peeled. Uh, I guess that's a good thing about metallic paints, you can't quite tell when something like that goes on. Uh, then there, here's one where it has, I added too much thinner, Honestly, I gave it a kind of a cool marble effect. I can't quite complain about that. Let's see here. Here's an ideal ideal one, perfect for what I did. And this one I did something a little stupid. Um, polyacrylic. It's an acrylic based uh, finish. I literally just dipped this into a tub of it. Now, if it would have stayed, if I wouldn't have got those bubbles in the uh, in there from shaking up the paint, this would have probably been one of the better coats because it's it, it's not scratching that bad. It's not doing it's not near as bad as I thought it was gonna look. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much, Zodiac fourteen. Uh, let me see. Fourteen, fourteen, yeah. Uh, here's another one where I got, I just straight up dipped every, dipped it straight into the polycrylic after doing the final coat. For my base coat on these, I didn't use per se uh, what you're supposed to use for a base coat. I used this. Wicked Colors, straight up black acrylic. I wanted it to be acrylic on top of acrylic because it's my first time really painting with it. And I wanted to get a good idea of what I'm working with here and what it's going to be like. 
How's your day going today, Zodiac? I hope you're having a fantastic one, because I'm pretty good. I can't complain about today. But yeah, those are pretty much the spoons that I went through to test these out. Um, the purple, the pearl gray uh, ended up probably one of my favorites. It doesn't do it justice in this light, but it is actually... Uh, it is actually a purple color. Good, I'm glad to hear that. All right, so without further ado, it says it in the title. That's what everyone's here to see. By everyone, I mean like pretty much you, Zodiac. So, welcome. I'll crack this bad boy. And let's get this thing put together. Ugh. So I have my pieces already pre-painted and put together in uh, this little lazy sewing thing. I like to do, I'm not the most lazy person, but let me just take this off. There we go. This way I can literally just, I don't know if you see this, but I can literally just lean it on my workstation and use it as shelves and just pick the gumpla out of there. All right. Let's see how this goes. And by the way, my uh, that's my cat Diva. She'll be co-hosting with us tonight. I know everyone loves pets, and uh, that's uh, Sexy Chainsaw Massacre. Forgot the name, but yeah. Ah, she'll be guarding the four loco. <laughs> If you have any questions or anything feel free to just post them up here oh I need to grab my poly caps for this kit hang on Part should I start with? Is there any anything you want to see? Because if not, I'm just going to start with uh, the chest. sit back and relax because building gumpla just got a lot thicker Thank you. 
so far it's got some like Epion vibes going on. The, uh, the very top portion is actually Turbo Dork's metallic shift color. So you can kind of see it in the webcam, but it's going from like that purple to like that gold green color. And uh, I didn't think it would turn out this good. So I'm pleasantly surprised so far. You shouldn't have to be a seasoned detective to find your new favorite true crime podcast. So we've cracked the case of how you can easily discover your latest obsession. Introducing Podcast Playlists. They're hand-picked, updated regularly, and filled with must-hear moments. Check out the Crime Scene Playlist for a fresh dose of thrilling true crime. Mm. It's criminally good listening, all in one playlist. Tap the button to start listening now. So what camera do I use to live stream? Uh, right now I am using, honestly, it's uh, something I found on Amazon. It's a webcam. It's not even a camera. I typed in, uh, I typed in you know webcam for streaming and it came up it is i think it's like a next it said nexigo it's a 1080p 60 frames per second autofocus and it has like the little slider over it so i can you know keep you know uh maintain some privacy but yeah no this camera only cost me like 50 dollars. and look at what i got out of it i got pretty much what i need for now until it's time for me to upgrade the um 
I highly recommend it. So far, it's been very reliable. Uh, I found one, another one that was 4K, actually, but it uses up a little bit too much of my C, like my computer power. It's a, uh, it's just like a Chinese brand webcam that shoots in 4K, but a little bit too powerful for my PC right now. But that'll be upgraded soon. Does a pretty damn good job, if I do say so myself. Let's see, does that look good? Auto focus for me, baby. There we go. So yeah, no, nothing special at all. This uh, between my headset and my camera, it only cost me like. 70 bucks, something like that. Not, not too much. Alright, up next, the head. Go ahead and get that out of the way, because this I, I have a feeling the head's going to be the thing I'm the most disappointed in because of the color separation. I kind of went with what I think is a little bit too much red, but we'll see. I do have some different colored accents with gold uh, on there and even black. So... See how this goes. I think I will go ahead and apply this sticker though. Hang on, let me grab it. So Zodiac, do you uh, do you build Gunpla? Do you have a current working project you're working on? Okay, what's your uh, what's your first model kit that you're building? I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm, I'm really excited to see people getting into the hobby. Because, once again, yeah, I don't think this hobby gets near as much recognition as it deserves. If you're about to build your first kit, I'll warn you, putting eye stickers on sucks. <laughs> but I did it.
Oh God. <laughs> Those are all my posing parts. Go. Didn't fucking clean up, did I? So that's the uh, the origins version. I just dropped a piece. Oh God! There it is. I see you. Yeah, for me. Come back here. Is the V fin too? The worst one. There we go. All right, little bitty piece. Where did you go? You ready for a lot of this? Actually, uh, I have not built that specific kit, but I have a lot of friends that have, specifically the Char version, and they have nothing but great things to say about it. Uh, the weight, I know the articulation in that one is probably some of the best for a Zaku there is. Now, are you getting the, uh, don't know, especially on SD. Yeah. Yeah, no, the SD, just the color separations on XD, SD Gundams honestly turns me away as a whole, but, you know, they're really good to practice painting on, and they have really crappy details, and I feel like that's, you know, if you, if you plan on painting, that'd be a really good place to start practicing. John Quinney was 10 years old. He testified against his own father. For a long time, the proudest thing I ever did was send my dad to jail, you know? That was it. But now, two decades later, he's convinced his dad was innocent. His dad and hundreds of others, falsely accused in a panic that swept the country. From Gimlet, Conviction American Panic is out now. Tap now to listen for free on Spotify. Should be back in order now. Let's carry on. I am missing his middle jewel, but you know, that'll be fixed. Once I find it, it won't take long. But I'm gonna carry on building. Oh, you have the Red Zaku 2 Origin? Good, good, good. That one, uh... So you're, you're pretty much in for, uh... A pretty similar build. As long as I'm thinking about the right kit.
That's what's up. The the more you get, the more fun it gets. That's how they get you. The stuff's plastic crack, I tell you. Never fails, but whatever. There you go.
so far so good everything's looking nice just finishing up the waist right here and if you are in the stream don't feel don't be afraid to say hi give me a follow I really appreciate you stopping by So far, this is our boy. I like this a lot more than I thought I would. I might actually do a photo shoot with it, so we'll see. Let's see, arm time. a day at the park sound to you with flonase allergies don't have to be scary stay one I'm step ahead of your symptoms story. by spraying oh, flonase daily than I thought it and was. stop your body from overreacting to allergens all season long mm. click or tap the banner to find out more psst, psst, you're good pretty sure I'm doing this right Wow, you can really tell. <laughs> oh.
There we go. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Once again, like I said, this is turning out a lot better than I thought it would, so I really love how Turbo or Dork paints look. I really like how it goes down, too. I finally ended up getting the perfect mixture of, uh, of thinner for it by using just this right here. The uh, Createx water-based uh 4012 zodiac is back thankfully yeah my boy uh, or lady i'm not sure but you know either way enjoy the stream tell your friends Legend has it that by watching my stream, you have become 10% thicker in all the right places, and not to mention your credit score has jumped 69 points. And that's facts. Scientifically proven. Forgot to put my poly cap in there. Never forget the meat in your poly cap sandwiches.
number two. If I do say so myself, giving off like a mix between heavy arms and epion vibes, and that's not what I expected, but pleasantly surprised. Let's go. Fresh kicks. Fresh shiny new kicks. shiny kicks with the gold laces. Trying to get down, baby girl. Let's take a diva break. Bow. There she is. Look how beautiful. Please don't step on all my workstation. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. I love my shiny super mega phone. Oh god. Last forever on my buns. Only super mega when I'm cleaning. Charmin's got my booty believing. Charmin's super mega roll is six regular rolls in one. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Sorry if you see my cat's butthole.
got to clip my cat because I love her so much. And she has blessed us with her presence while I stream. I don't know. It's my baby right here. Her name is Diva, just like the, uh, just like the Overwatch character. No, come back. Let me love you into staying. Look at all the cat hair that just got on this bad boy. <sighs> just from me doing that. All fixed. <laughs> love this damn cat. Take a moment just to say thank you, everyone that has swung by to check out my stream. Especially you, Zodiac, you've been keeping me good company. Making this process a lot better than just doing it in, you know, by myself. headset or not I haven't quite upgraded to a uh, USB mic but soon you'll hear all the clicks in the world you want to hear together and then after this all I have is the backpack and the weapons
All right, so look at the top of the knee right there. You can see that color change I'm talking about. You see how it looks purple on one side and the top of it looks kind of gold and green. That's finally what I was, you're able to see right now. That's pretty badass for a color shift. All right, let's keep going. I'm not stopping yet. Plus, one of my favorite things about this kit and the reason I chose to do it was the fact of how cool his backpack is and how nice the thrusters are. So, let's get it put together. Oh, thanks, Mikey. Welcome to the chat, bro. Thank you so much. Check out the uh, Hazel 2. This is Custom Colors by Turbo Dork. Uh, I'm getting huge Epion vibes from Wing Gundam and also Heavy Arms from Wing Gundam in a certain kit, and I like it a lot. Thank you so much for stopping by. And, well, I'm almost done, so you literally caught me at probably the best time. get to see this final product right here You just gotta clean your parts, you feel me? Okay. I, I just love the backpack and the design of this. Especially, let's see how this looks. Oh, shit. Well, 
little back heavy now, but it literally has a, a tail to stand with. Let's see if I can. I did fuck up the paint a little bit towards the end right here. It's just a little bit over overdone. But other than that, I can't say this. I thought this was going to be something that I hated, and honestly, I don't. Let's get, uh, let's keep going. Finish building these weapons and everything, and I'll throw it on a stand to show y'all uh, whenever I'm done, and we'll go from there. I do need to make the hands. I don't know why I always wait to do the hands last. I always wanted to hold something cool, but then I never built the, the dang hands. right there those turbo door colors would be perfect for painting iron man kit actually how does a day at the park sound to you with flonase allergies don't have to be scary stay one step ahead of your symptoms by spraying flonase daily and stop your body from overreacting to allergens all season long click or tap the banner to find out more you're good. looking over a few things right now. Ah, there it is. PCI. We got to put the dang poly cap in. Probably cap sandwich. It's a nice, nice shield. So these don't go on the back of the arms like I thought they did. They go right here, facing down.
Ooh, that black and gold with the shield looks nice. And of course, I'm going to equip it with the Beefy Boy's shield first. Posing. That looks good. Job. Of course, it's not a Gundam without its little beam saber and its backpack. when they do that. Thrusters that aren't on a ball joint are one of the banes of my existence and they don't even know it. They don't even know how much I hate them. Like, like I have to glue you and then you'll never move, but whatever. It still looks cool as fuck though. Yet another reason to hate this fucking bullpup gun. You just can't really, you just can't really aim it straight because the magazine's right in literally the worst location. But you can kind of looks cool when it's at like an attention kind of pose. I 
and I love these type of effect hands for the beam sabers where they have kind of the angle to the fingers where they're kind of pointing it. Uh, it's probably my favorite. Don't mind the ugly scar. here and uh, you know just like that I'd say we're done going to stop that because I don't feel like panel lining this. It's got too many colors in it. I feel like the color separation is nice. Um, as far as articulation goes, if you've ever bought a high grade before, you know exactly what you're in for. Um, you know, especially with these really, really cheap cheap kits like this one. I think this one was only like 12 bucks or something. I just wanted to test out this paint that I got. I can't complain. Let me get it. Let me get a stand and see how it looks in the air. Positive mindset is key to become the person you want to be. Experts use positive affirmations to achieve goals and overcome challenges. It's not a coincidence that one of the most popular affirmations is, the more I focus upon the good, the more good comes to my life. ThinkUp is the number one <sighs> app for affirmation and motivation that thousands use daily. Oh, I really got a good spot of Pride Premium. The Think Up podcast, so influencers can share the most powerful yes, affirmations yes, yes, and yes, tips yes, yes, that yes. help them transform their lives. Support, Tap here support. to listen to Think Up on Spotify. Now we're here, we can do this. All right, let's see how this looks in the air. This isn't quite <laughs> what you're supposed to use to get it up there, but. Eh. It sure is holding it up though. Articulation, honestly, is garbage because it is a high grade, but... It's, it's the stuff I put into it that really counts.
All right. Looks like my tripod's gonna be a chair last second. I'm streaming. There we are. So here we are. The high grade universal century. Hazel tea. Custom colors. All turbo dork, except for the white. Yeah, point of view. I am the Gumpa. Yeah, pretty much the all the camera wiggle and everything. Uh, that's about it. You can see the color change on the chest and the knees uh, and everywhere. I have, there are some stickers I haven't added yet. Like uh, I think there's some that goes in those little hollows down at the bottom of the legs that I think will break up the monotony quite nice. Uh, I haven't put the head camera sticker on yet, except for the eyes. That's the only thing I've really put on there. Other than that, y'all, um, I think I'm going to call it quits for the night. You know, this is my second stream of the day. The first one I did, uh, Final Fantasy VI Zodiac. Dude, join me for some Final Fantasy VI streams. I appreciate you following, uh, Mikey. I love you, and I'm so glad I saw you at that party the other day. I don't think I even got a chance to say goodbye to you because my phone was on 1% and I decided to pull an Irish exit, but you know me, and that's just what I do. Uh, thank y'all for stopping by. I'm just going to pretty much, I'm going to up my next thing is I'm just going to upload this whole thing to YouTube, and then whenever I get some free time, I'm going to work on chopping this thing up into making a cohesive build video. Alright y'all, thank you so much for stopping by, and uh, that's going to be it for me today. Peace out.